What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and these are three firearms that I really enjoy to shoot, really enjoy in general, just having them makes me happy. Now one thing that's always talked about in firearms is recoil and recoil control. And there's two things that really factor into recoil. One is the size and weight of your firearm, and the other thing is how you manage that recoil. And there's some people that have a harder time managing the recoil or are newer and are just trying to get their bearings on the firearm world and how to shoot and stuff like that. So here are three firearms that are great for everyday carry, but also control recoil very well just by how the firearm is designed as well as its weight. First off, we're going to start with this. I consider this a pocket pistol. This is the FN 503. As you can see, this thing is very small. Sorry, it's got some lint on it from being pocket carried all day. Um, it's an awesome, awesome firearm for its size. Even just having a two finger grip, if that, it shoots very smooth. It's been 100% reliable, and I've shot thousands and thousands of rounds through this tiny little firearm, and it honestly feels like you're shooting something much bigger. It really handles recoil. It really does a great job being a pocket pistol, um, and which a smaller firearm tends to have more recoil. Not in this case. The FN 503 handles it really, really well. The Glock 26, of course. I've had so many comments of people saying I shoot this just as good if not better than my Glock 19 or my Glock 17 or people just saying there's something about the Glock 26 that just shoots very smooth and one thing I've noticed about Glocks um, in my opinion is that because of this um, wider grip angle you're naturally already aiming your hand downward so you're almost already fighting the recoil just by aiming at your target. And the Glock 26 is no exception. This thing shoots much better for its size. This shoots, I would compare it to a Glock 19 um, for other people, even though I shoot this better than my Glock 19. And it's still very easy to conceal. And like I always tell people, you could pocket carry this if you wanted to. Last but not least, this is probably the best shooting firearm for its size. This has only a 3-inch barrel for the Springfield Armory XD9 subcompact. It holds 13 rounds with this flush mag, but this thing handles recoil so good. It's the smoothest shooter. People say the trigger's a little spongy, but to be honest, once that first shot is done with, the trigger's not bad at all. The trigger's not bad at all to even to begin with. It's just a little spongy, which is pretty normal. But the thing is, the slide is so big, this whole um, upper is heavier. And so this really keeps that um, firearm from snapping and keeps it very level while shooting it. I would say this is probably the best shooting firearm for its size because compared, it does shoot better than a Glock 26, can't even lie. And it is bigger, just like an overall footprint bigger. Um, and the grip is a little longer, but yeah, this thing shoots so smooth. So yeah, those are three firearms that if you're a beginner or recoil sensitive or just want to get your bearings on shooting, these are three awesome everyday carry options that won't give you trouble in the recoil department. Thanks for watching.